Two giants of football going head to head today. The stadium is full and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Stay tuned for all the action coming up next. Lovely night, real privilege to be here in Dortmund at the vast Signali Duna Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Bayern Munich. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great afternoon inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Mats Hummel starts alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Marco Reus plays with Giovanni Reina out wide. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And here's how Bayern will line up. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Matthijs de Ligt plays with Dayo Ibamecano in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the contest begins. Might be able to set up the chance. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Super Martin. Can he put it in? And thumped away. Now, oh, how about the short corner? Wasn't taxing for the keeper. Pressure on the keeper. Oh, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Choupo-Moting. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Emre Can. Well, let's see about the cross them under the course oh good save
It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Aller. And on to Bellingham. Really good interception. Oh, big chance! Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Taken short. Delivered into the area here. Ball is loose. And a really good diving stop. A short corner here and making the move to the inside and still looking to get the shot off and a penalty awarded spot kick coming up can he make it 1-0 and he slots it home with confidence. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. Back underway here, and a wake-up call for Borussia Dortmund, you would think. Shupomoting. Sané. Fine cross into the middle. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, let's just have another look at this. The cross from Sane is hit into a really dangerous area, and he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good control finish. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Adeyemi. Excellent defending. And potential danger. It could be for Zane. Shupomoting. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Emre Jan. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Dangerous ball. The referee's whistle, and so the first half has come to an end here at the Zignal Iduna Park. Well, certainly accurate to say that Serge Gnabry has stamped his authority on the game, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. Well, off and running again, and still reflecting on a spellbinding first-half performance from Bayern. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? A move of promise on the flank. And hunting for his second goal, denied, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. And still dangerous. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it could be on for him here. Surely, a goal! Just what they needed! Still plenty of life in this match! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. 
What an emphatic finish that is. And they get the ball moving again. Dortmund still behind, but they're making this a contest. Guerrero, a spot on with that challenge. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Zula. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Hummers. Now with Zule. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Mazraoui. Bayern pushing forward with options available. Firing it in. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Hummers. On to Zule. Regain possession. Teammates available. And he might be through here. Can they put it away? Untidy it was by Mounier. Direct ball into the box. Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Sané giving it a try simple catch really just 15 minutes remaining an incisive pass he just needs to stay level headed there magnificent stuff and quite the comeback from two goals down credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest Leroy Zane Joshua Kimmich but a goal at this late stage might end up being a winner that's the hope in the Bayern camp Hummers Pressing really high. It's with Mats Hummers. Guerrero. And there! A oh, tremendous block. With time running out, it is a corner to Dortmund. Let's see what they can produce. Well, they've decided to make a change. preferred and space for him to cut in and Bellingham can they forge ahead can they stop it going in oh a goal can you believe what we're watching it truly is a comeback and a half well here we can see it again normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper but I think it's a good initial save I'm not sure he could have done much more just a bit unfortunate really that it dropped to an opponent A 
well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. We are going to have two additional minutes. Serge Gnabry. And there it is, the final whistle. A satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill, and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal.